number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine, number nine. So we are going to make fun of this infomercial. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. It's this Mr. infomercial. Yeah. It, no, it's not. It's not. No. Oh, oh, I know this. <laughs> yes, you do. All right, so we're gonna make fun of this infomercial because that's the best thing. To... Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make fun of this commercial. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I hope you have fun listening to us make fun. Yeah. Powerful enough to sear meats, yet gentle enough to make a crispy crunch. You, you were able to fry, uh, bake, and grill. We're fighting right now. The Nazis. The chicken breast will cook in my side. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 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 You're fat. You don't overeat this way. And, <laughs> and you're fat. That doesn't make any sense. They should have got somebody else. She's going to roast the baby. Without eating the kitchen is a plus for me. Oh, it's probably the best product. I want to see this. The Express 101 is always there for me. And we I didn't say. And I improving on what's already my most used kitchen helper. But I've heard improvement is exactly what's happened. And there's only one person in the world who's qualified to let us in on the news. So let's join my friend, Kathy Mitchell. And She's not your friend. You just barely met her. Yeah, you don't even know home. her name. Kathy, how are you? Great to see you. Wow. I think you're going to love it even more now. Because look what we can do. Big, thick, man-sized sandwiches. Man-sized. Cheeses. Gorilla. And look at these pies. Blueberry, even and cherry. You couldn't do that before. But these said that you don't get fat. Joe, this is the Express Ready, Set, Go. Oh, Kathy, this is beautiful. And it is ready. Look what we've done. We took out that center divider, so now you have 25% more cooking area. So you can cook a lot of different things Exactly in right, like about pizza. It makes the pizza. Pizza! Yeah. Now, this is my almost instant said. pizza dough, and the recipe comes with it. All you have to do is pop it in there, and then put whatever toppings you like. It's a personal pizza, so you don't have to wait for the delivery man, pay extra for all. But I like the delivery man. <laughs> Now, this is that you just that tricky pepperoni. <laughs> You'll never tell the difference, except it's not so greasy. <laughs> so you save a lot of calories. A little light mozzarella. Ooh, that's a joke. Too much. Oh, 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 peppers. Okay. Oh, you put oh, olives in it. It's going to seven minutes, and we've got a built-in timer, so I just set it for seven minutes, and it'll call me when the pizza's done. And the goal part is, see the green light? Uh -huh. That green light comes on, you know your machine is preheated and ready to start cooking. Ready, set, go. Wow, a lot of... What are you, Mr. T? And a lot of possibilities. Now, and you're off the hook. Like, look here. These are corn tortillas. I'm going to make kind of a Mexican stacked pizza. Racist. Right? Ah, I just spread some beans on this corn yeah, right. tortilla. I'm going to just drop it right in there. That's perfect. I'm going to stack another one on top of that, and now we're just going to put oh. on some this is a great way to get rid of leftover so a little cheese on there. And this is only going to take about <laughs> five <good> minutes. <laughs> so <laughs> cheese on there. So I don't lose track of what's cooking. Have you ever had a Hawaiian pizza? Racist. Okay, okay, this is pita bread. And it tastes almost exactly like pizza crust. So you got a pita pizza. Pita pizza, that's right. You just drop it in there. Pizza. Now all you have to do is add your toppings. Hey, that doesn't fit in. How are you going to do that? Yeah. They want so much food. Cheese here. You want to add the pineapple? Sure. Just scoop on the top of Ooh, this is Hawaiian pizza. You can have exactly what you want on it. Oh, That's no, olives aren't good. Olives aren't good. It's because the crust is basically this already cooked. This is all great, but I think all of us are really going to miss side-by-side meals you used to have. I don't think you're going to miss it at all. Come on, let me show you something. Uh-oh. Is this what you thought you were going to miss? This is the new insertable divider pan. But the same thing as before. Like <laughs> two machines. And it's still the world's best no-fold omelet maker. Love those I do, too. This is just Me two meat too. cakes, and I'm going to divide it between the girls like this. Yeah. So for the guys, you like those meat and potato omelets, yep. some steak and some potatoes, a few mushrooms. And on the other side, how about a veggie omelet? This is mushrooms and peppers oh, and that's onions. Oh, now you just put cheese on top. Wow, you're adding weight. Oh, whoa. The neatness doesn't count. I remember you said that. Now that's going to rise up again. It's going to rise up, and in seven minutes, we're going to have a perfect omelet. Cooking from and top And they're going to eat all that? Now, how about a weekend? Uh, stuff. Uh, stuff. I hope you
extra vacuum cleaner of food. I bought this extra thick bread. Because that would be a waste of strawberry jam. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this egg substitute. So just you're putting an sandwich. What the heck what are you doing? doing? So now I'm using the entire cooking area. Of the you're putting That's gonna take a bread with jelly and cream cheese and egg yolks. Yeah, you're <laughs> and then then you're cooking okay, it. Well, I'm make what you the heck? What? I think she's got a nice piece of French bread here. I'm going to put <laughs> a little ham and some ham, cheese, cheese and some tomatoes, tomatoes and the top. <laughs> and now and I have to brush it with just a little bit of olive oil, which is very healthy for you. That actually sounds pretty good. Right in there. Okay. This is like a panini. What's a panini? Yeah. He's making a portion of the TV. You like rats? So I'm going to put a little Ew. mustard on it first. Yeah, you you can that? use the different you color like tortillas rats? that we're going to yeah, put yeah. yeah. I'm just going to lay that on there. Oh, yeah, it's going to be full. And some Swiss cheese. Sure. Pastrami and a pastrami without pickles, right? Ah. Uh, what do you do? Just hold uh, in the sides. Yeah. And roll it up. Well. Don't try yeah. to miniaturize the food because this has got plenty of room and got a nice deep well top and bottom. And it's got the hinge lid so it'll raise exactly. up. Exactly. Now how about a corn dog? Oh, I love corn dogs. It reminds me of being at the fair. Oh, you're just a big kid. I know that. I am. Now just like if I was cooking this in the oven, I'd spray the pan. I'm going to spray my okay. express. That way there's That's no the poison. Now when I make no corn poison. Dog, I put the whole hot dog in. But a friend of mine says, <laughs> well, I could cut up because that way they get dog in every bite. So bless you. Get the pack in there. It all works just like that. Can't close that lid. Well, <laughs> seven minutes. Yeah, thanks for that information. <laughs> 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 no, to do well, something. Pizza calling you. Come on. <laughs> what? Kathy, it smells like a pizzeria in here. Oh, <laughs> Stop making it up words. Like a <laughs> no. in here because these pizzas cost <laughs> about one dollar each. Look at this. A perfect personal pizza with exactly what you want on it. That's our Hawaiian with the cream. We have to buy the ingredients. No. Pizza. <laughs> that's the yeah. downside. Well, there's the racist pizza. Yeah, that smell. That smell is unbelievable. We're on, we're on the <laughs> other side of the team. We can't smell it. Nacho chips, and it just gives it a little zing. Fiesta. 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 Fiesta